All right, you guys, so you want to check out how to create this threshold effect here on Photoshop. This is the second attempt, the second technique. Also, if you want to check out how we made the first method, I can leave a link in the description. This is my artboard size. And let's go to adjustments. I'm going to select the threshold. And I'm going to change up the blend mode to linear dodge add. And I'm also going to add a hue saturation and decrease the saturation all the way down. Now let's go ahead and select the layer with the model. Go to adjustments and select solid color. Make sure that you're on the black, click OK. Now let's go to filter, noise, add noise. Convert to smart object. And here I'm gonna go and add a lot of noise. And I'm gonna test it out with like 70, click OK. And let's go and change up the blend mode. And I'm gonna go and select the subtract. And I also wanna make this grain bigger. So I'm gonna go to the filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. And for the Gaussian, I'm gonna go with like 1.6, 1.5, click OK. And now let's go and click on the top layer. Let's add another solid. Click OK. And I'm going to change the blend mode. And I'm going to select the hard mix. Now let's go and change up the color by double clicking on the thumbnail. And I'm going to bring the color up. And I'm going to change up the color and check this out. Now we get like two colors. So I'm going to go and choose the one that I like. I'm going to go somewhere at this area where you can find the colors more contrasty. So I'm going to test it out with this. Click OK. Let's go back to the adjustments. Let's add a black and white. And now, but least, let's go ahead and select the gradient map. Click on the gradient and let's go ahead and add some handles. And this is going to be at location 40. I'm going to change up the color to red. Click OK. And let's go ahead and add another handle. Now, this one should be somewhere around 80. I'm going to do it exactly on 80. Let's change up the color. I'm going to go with blue. Click OK. And last one, I'm going to make a little bit more yellowish. There you go. You also can readjust the handle. But as you can see, it is going to lose the strength of the blue. So you might be asking why exactly 80 and 40. And I'm going to click OK. And let's go back to the black and white. And as you can see here, we got the red at 40, yellow 60, and then 40, 60, 20, 80. So basically, you're going to need to adjust the colors accordingly to these values. And if you want to customize it more, you can change up the color here. And this way you can just increase or decrease the contrast. But this is going to change up only the red surface right here. You also got the threshold. You can modify this. And this is going to modify the blue. So this is really interesting. This modifies the blue. You also can remove the background. Just click on remove background. And I'm going to add another solid, duplicate it, bring it under, change up the color. And here you can see it's going to bring some really cool results when you change up the grayscale. And that's how this tritone threshold effect works. Thanks for watching.